Josh Garner, most of you I have never met before, and uh, it's always good to see new faces and uh, make new friends, so hopefully by the end of the evening we'll all get to know each other a little bit better, amen? Uh, we have something very exciting, this is brand new for the Chuck Wagon Gang, a new album that just came out a couple of months ago, and we have some brand new songs. Now I know for some folks of the Chuck Wagon Gang fan, uh, they say new songs from the Chuck Wagon Gang. Are you kidding? And uh, that's true. We've got some brand new songs in this recording, but here's the catch. They sound like old Chuck Wagon Gang songs, all right? <laughs> so that's good. Folks are still writing good old gospel songs like that, and we want to share some of those with you tonight if we can. This first song features a young lady in the middle. Comes to us from Groveton, Texas. Been a fan favorite for many, many years now, singing the high soprano for the gang. Her name is Melissa Kemper. Are you glad to see Melissa tonight? Would you like to
Young lady standing next to me is the only link we have to the original Chuck Wagon gang. Brother mentioned Governor Jimmy Davis and his wife Anna. Anna was her grandmother. And uh, she and her folks started this group many, many years ago. And uh, she has the tremendous responsibility of carrying on the family legacy. The American institution that is the Chuck Wagon gang and does a mighty fine job of it. Sings a pretty good alto, too. Her name's Shay Smith. You glad to see Shay tonight? <laughs> There's an ache in my heart that will not go away But I will not cry today There are cares in this world that I cannot escape But I will not cry today Put my tears in a bottle, place it high on a shelf I've been worried much too long for others and myself I will go to the river Jesus whispers low, every burden to lay, so I will not cry today. Trading in my clothes for a garment of praise, now I will not cry today. Put my tears in a bottle, place it high on the shelf. I've been worried much too long for others and myself. I will go to the river, I will meet the Lord and pray, and I will not cry today. I have been where the Lord doesn't show on my face, no, I will not cry today. For my heart feels free as a young child at play, so I will not cry today. But my tears in a bottle, place it high on a shelf. I've been worried much too long for others and myself. I will go to the river, I will meet the Lord and pray, and I will not cry today. I will go to the river every burn I will And I will not cry.
For honor through reason with the heavenly Father send down the Son to suffer rejection and pay for crimes he had not done. For what earthly reason would the Father let him hang on a tree? I wept with the answer that what earthly reason was He's the other statesman of our group. He's been playing and singing with the gang off and on for a long time now as well. Comes to us from Texas also. He's from Joshua, Texas, up near the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So he's the closest thing we have to a cowboy here in the Cowboy Church tonight. <laughs> and if that's a cowboy, I'm not. Bless his heart. Let me slip down, I'm sorry. <laughs> We are glad to have this gentleman with us. In my opinion, in over 87 years that this group has traveled and sang, there's nobody that picks a guitar and sings a bass any better than Daddy Daryl Morris. Say hello to Daryl, would you tonight? Thank you, gentlemen. There is 
so blessed and fun, God put in me to stay. This world knows nothing like it, it's sweet and grows each day. It rises o'er the mountains, it's deeper than the sea. This holy, happy chorus, salvation put in me. I hope I will go and call it days, I'll be on control. This little chorus, it's ringing my soul. The devil's spoken, I try, I try, I try, I try. Hallelujah chorus of triumph over sin A of salvation and holy joy within Began with peace and pardon Came in a mighty flood And filled the holy temple Made ready by the blood I want to call it peace Beyond control This world has been a dream my soul faces. I don't know that I've ever sung down in this area, and I've been singing for almost 30 years now, so kind of a new area for us. So I bet if I ask this question, just about everybody will raise their hands. First time to see the Chuck Wagner game. Just almost every hand. Okay. Well, great. We're going to give you a history lesson tonight. You didn't expect that, but that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to shift gears from the very new. We're going to go all the way back to the beginning when the Chuck Wagon game got started. And it was early 1930s during the Depression years, and uh, they were out in Texas picking cotton for a living during the Depression. Well, the Lord blessed them. He took them out of the cotton fields, and he put them in a radio station in Fort Worth, Texas. I don't know if everybody can see or not, but WBAP Radio here on our little prop stand uh, is the station that they found themselves in in Fort Worth, Texas. And uh, they acquired a local flour company, Buley Mills Flour, became their sponsor in the early 1930s, and uh, that's where we got the name Chuck Wagon Gang. And uh, on that radio show, most of the songs that you probably remember hearing the gang sing on those old uh, 78 RPM records they would have done on the radio in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. So we're going to recreate an old radio show for you. Ask another question. I see some gray hair, so I'll get some hands here as well. How many ever had old battery-powered radio? Does that sound familiar? Everybody. Okay. Back in the day when they did those old radio shows, if you had one of those battery-powered radios, it might have sounded like this. You and Bill should sing again, sing the songs for grown men, for the purpose we can be in this crazy nature. See, we eat the bread from all the banks, kiss these special guys and kings, this will fly the banks of birds from the east to the west. It's ahead of the rest, it'll stand in test, it's you. And they go Yeah. 
yourself a herd full of woolly boogers and do yourself a favor and visit Shirley Shuford Cheap Shearing Shanty and Apothecary. At Shirley Shuford Cheap Shearing Shanty and Apothecary, Shirley has all the modern tools to make sure you have the sharpest looking sheep for miles around. And don't worry about those fussy yearlings. Shirley will mix up a special elixir to make them gentle as a lamb. At Shirley Shuford Cheap Shearing Shanty and Apothecary, we fleece your flock, not your pocket. So visit Shirley Shuford Cheap Shearing Shanty and Apothecary today for a brand new you. And now, back to the chuck wagon game. <laughs> Thank you. 
Uh, thank you, friends and neighbors. We appreciate you tuning in to WBAP, 8.20 a.m. each and every weekday for the Chuck Wagon Gang program. We certainly do hope you're enjoying these spiritual songs and Western favorites this afternoon. I tell you what we enjoy is when you send in your cards and letters. They mean so much to us, especially your song requests. Let's us know that you're listening and what your favorites are. Matter of fact, I got one such letter just the other day from the sweetest young man, a uh, little eight-year-old. He says, Dear Chuck Wagon Gang, I sure do enjoy your program each and every weekday. Mom and Daddy let me listen, and it's the best part of my day. The other week, you folks sang a new Albert Brummett song. It's become a favorite of mine. Would you please sing it again? Sign your number one fan, Nick Saban. Well, Nick, we <laughs> We want to sing that new Albert Brumley song again for little Nicky. Here it is. I'll fly away. <laughs> Sunrise Being kissed while you're asleep is the purest form of affection. Unless you're in prison. Unitarian Gang sings songs for grown men Full of peppers we can be in this The reason is you see we eat the bread The mother bakes biscuits, bakes the fries Bakes, bits of flour that makes the best From east to the west It's ahead of the rest It'll stand any test It's Gilly's best And make her enjoyed that trip back in time as much as we do. Uh, and let me say this while we're at it. Uh, I, I may tell you more about this later, I may not. We, we have uh, been under some uh, unusual circumstances over the last month. I had a terrible vehicle accident uh, a little over a month ago and lost everything. Our vehicle and uh, sound equipment, all kinds of stuff we couldn't bring with us tonight. So I want to thank the young lady back there in the sound booth that, uh, oh, I'm sorry, it's the hair that threw me. I apologize. Uh, <laughs> Tell Dalton how much you appreciate him. Thank you, Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Oh, mercy. We love to have fun everywhere we go. But you know what? We're on serious business, too. And uh, if you're here tonight and you're a blood-washed, born-again child of the King, that means your name's been written down in the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen? Amen. Amen. One of these days, the Lord's going to open that book, and he's going to call out your name and say, Well done. My good and faithful servant. I hope your name is written there, ladies and gentlemen. Listen to a song. It's been a blessing to folks all across the country for the last few years. Features the ladies, uh, Shay, here at the beginning. Listen as she sings for you the record book. <laughs> to 
to the believers, and that's the, the Holy Bible, the mighty word of God, amen. amen. I, uh, I, don't, uh, I don't think it's any surprise to any of us here tonight that we truly are living in the last days. If you don't believe it, uh, go get your Bible and read through Revelation and Daniel and some of those other wonderful books, and then turn on your television. <laughs> get on the internet. Open a paper if they still have those, I don't know. We see prophecy unfolding before us in every hand. And, and some of the things of this world, I, I truly, uh, especially some things going on in this very country that I never thought I'd see and I really don't understand, especially this uh, this woke crowd, you know all about that. I didn't realize I was asleep. I didn't know I had to be woke. You know? uh, it really doesn't make a lot of sense to me, especially folks that they say, well, I can identify as anything I want to be. You know, these, these men say I identify as women and vice versa. It's, we read recently there was a young lady that identified as a cat. So she was in high school. You know what the school board did? 
they put a litter box in the women's bathroom. Oh my God. <laughs> they may call that woke, I call it stupid. It's sin, that's what it is, it's sin. But you know what, if they can do it, I can do it too. How about that? I stand before you tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I identify as a millionaire, how about that? <laughs> I am, I'm a millionaire. My father owns a cattle on a thousand hills. And he's built me a mansion on a street of gold. I'm a millionaire. Listen to a new song. I know it because it says so in the mighty word of God. You're going to like it. We're living in the end of days. There's trials on every hand. We say the things are occurring now and we don't understand. But I believe he's in control so I Pastor Lewis and all the folks having us here tonight.
Brother Stan, get you over here. Yeah, get you one more fella. Uh, but yeah, come on this way. Let's get these four guys together. But we want to be a blessing to the uh, Chuck Wagon gang tonight. I hope you come prepared to be a blessing to them. Uh, they didn't ask for a specific amount when they made this trip down here. And, but we want to take care of them for coming this way. And, and we want to be a blessing to them. So uh, if, if you need to write a check, just make that out to the church. We'll give them every penny we take up tonight, okay? Uh, you uh, would cost a lot of money to go to, to Branson or a show to see this this type of uh, music. So so you give out of the goodness of your heart to send these folks on to the next uh, place to, to be a uh, ministry. I'll tell you every time we have somebody come through that I've done this for a living before. And uh, and a lot of times whenever churches call and, and uh, they ask you to come, and you go on a love offering. A lot of times when you leave there, you get more love than you do offering. I've been there. Okay? Well, we don't want that to be the case, okay? We want to really love on these folks. And how we do that is, is to open up our pocketbook, okay? Be a blessing to them how the Lord has blessed us. So, Brother Stan Wright, would you pray over this offering tonight, Brother? Father, yes, sir. thank you, Lord, for this group here tonight, Father. We know they've come through some tough times and lost their equipment and their vehicles, Father. We pray, Lord, that tonight that the Holy Spirit will come down and open yeah. up these hearts and these bill clothes and yeah. help these people where they continue to minister to your folks. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 We're going to play you a few fiddle songs. Maybe you'll like some of these. Are you ready, brother?
No, you stay, brother. We want to hear some more of that. Have y'all had long enough to get a drink, or y'all need some more time? <laughs>